Hey everybody, welcome back to Life is a Highway. Does your RV have this? If it does, then you need this. Okay, today we're going to continue on with our little upgrades we're doing, our DIY projects. And one, one of the things that this motorhome has, it has a little LED readout for the battery. So you really don't know your voltage, you're just getting these little LEDs. So what I purchased was just a 12 volt monitor system for my house battery. I have my solar panel now. Uh, the, you can get these that will give you amperage draws, but I didn't really care about the amperage draws. I'm only interested in the battery voltage. So we're going to install this just right here above the, the panel that's pre-existing. This is going to be really easy. It's literally going to be cut at a little hole that this pops into, and then we'll connect the two wires. Uh, and it's programmable from the back. This should be really quick and really easy. But if you don't have one of these and you do have this, I really recommend that you get a digital uh, uh, battery monitor so you can you know, keep, keep track of your house battery, especially if you're like us where we're installing the 12 volt refrigerator, you really need to know what the voltage of the battery is. So let's get this marked and get this hole cut out. <clears throat> okay, we use the inside of this to mark the where we're going to make our cutout. Make sure you don't make it too big because it'll just fall through the hole. So let's get that cut out. got the hole cut out and all we have to do is pop in the monitor make sure you have it facing the right side up and there we go now if you come over on the back side if you notice we have a refrigerator out because we're installing a 12 volt refrigerator and a solar panel setup but we're going to go ahead and get this done it'll make it easier but if you, I know you're not going to have your refrigerator out so you'll just have to take the 12 volt panel and unscrew it so you can access the wire. But what's really cool, and if you look carefully, there's always a spare wire to when, when they do stuff. This white wire is the ground, and this yellow wire is my hot wire. So all I'm literally gonna do is just splice these in, and then we'll just program the battery, what type of battery we have, and the voltage that we're using, and that's it. Now we just have to program the controller to make sure we have a Optima blue top lead acid battery so that would you have to program it for lead acid battery and then we'll set it for 12 volt and we're finished with it and this is way better than that hey everybody we're going to end the episode right there i know it was a short video but it is very important for you to have a 12 or should i say a digital meter and not just an led especially if you have a 12 volt refrigerator and you're installing a, a solar panel the voltage is very important 
And I want everybody to know that all those subscribers, that we really appreciate the people who subscribe. And I really hope that you'll hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. It really does help us on YouTube and it really helps our channel. So until next time, I hope to see you on the road. God bless and fish on.